So let me just do a mediocre job at what I do and well, that's the game. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 26 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only Challenge and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games, so sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to the volume is quite high, Mega Man Revolution. Load the game. We have zero skulls. Well, let's go to Blast Man. See what's going on in here. The spite work uh, is not too uh, impressive, but I guess uh, it can be improved once the uh, final game is released. If they intend to, of course. Background. Maybe a bit too bright, a bit too prominent. <laughs> Listening to music here. Let's go. Uh. Well, that's not gonna get annoying. Got the projectiles from Mega Man 10. Sheep Man stage. See how this works. That is probably the most irritating sound I've ever heard in my life. Oh dear lord, what is this? Can we drop through that little gap? Good teaching element though, but a, a bit too high in volume. Can I shoot through the shield? Of course not, what was I thinking there? Whew! That sound is gone. Quite a fun enemy, that one, though. Although, uh... Heavy uh, impression from uh, Mega Man 10, I'd imagine. From Sheep Man stage. Free the 1-up. Is that uh, a sign of things to come? I don't know. I do believe the uh, charge is a bit too overpowered. Maybe just a little... Maybe that's the case. I didn't realize these were mitts. It's just pretty much a normal mitt, but a... A different sprite. And now it, every time you shoot it, it opens like that. Then you shoot again to kill it. Fascinating. A bubble. A bubble. I beam. I see. Well, let's use the broken chit. I personally don't like this chat because uh, it's so close to the uh, Mega Man 3 uh, rush chat and that always felt like it was broken uh, to me. It didn't... Uh, what is that cycle by the way when you're climbing a ladder? He looks like he's shitting himself. Uh, si why do I only now notice that? That's a weird uh, climbing cycle. But uh, I always felt like this rush chat was pretty broken. You could just freely go where you want. In all honesty, I always thought that was a, a mistake on Capcom's part. Oh no. Oh, please shut up. Okay. But it's a good thing we get to uh, experience the game as it is right now and then see the improvements at some point if they ever happen. <clears throat> Getting a, l a lot of one ups. Oh no, stop, I can't quick switch. Have to wait for that to go off screen. Which it doesn't, it bounces off nothing. That's peculiar. So I am forced to pause the game because of that. Well, we don't have anything to break that with. Oh my fucking god. This noise is actually... I can feel my intelligence dropping when I'm hearing, when I'm listening to that sound. Ooh, 
Like, I can barely concentrate on uh, <laughs> evaluating because the sound is so fucking bad. Because the sound is so fucking prominent. N nah, not too many huge issues so far. I would say. It's just an okay, mediocre stage. Nothing too fancy going on. And uh, some of the plays. Okay, that's a thing. I wanna see that again. <laughs> oh my god, you get stuck until you can land. Well, there's something there to <laughs> take a look at. I like some. <laughs> How many one ups? <laughs> like seven one ups from this stage. But. <laughs> this stage needs some rework badly. What is this? It's a meat boss of sorts. Which barely does anything. It's a big bolt. Not gonna fall for that one. I wonder if we could use the shield here. That would make some sense, right? Ha! Oh, right. Look at that. Well thought out. I like that. Good job there. Those look like holes. I thought there was gonna be uh, some sort of uh, big tellies coming out of those. Guess not. Strange tiding at times. Oh my god. Make it stop. Please make it stop. Can I shoot them? No, sadly not. Hello? Get my hearing back so we can continue. W tank. Interesting pad. So if I just want that W tank, I'm just gonna come here. And somehow not die getting it. Maybe not. Rush it though. Just uh, testing the checkpoint. What's the problem? Why why does everything trap a one up? Something strange going on with the trap rates on this stage here. That much I can tell. Got the letter by chance. Again, something you would have to come back and kill yourself if you missed that. If you want it, of course. Interesting, the charge buster actually kills those. I'm starting to think that it's very overpowered in this game, the charge buster. It even kills the bosses so easily. It negates all of the weapon use in the game. I'm unsure what the decision was there to have it that overpowered. This stage is kind of like... It doesn't... This stage is kind of crap. It just keeps going and it keeps going. Nothing... Nothing too special is going on. That's a dead end and now we're just gonna get... Pummeled. <sighs> Questionable designs on this stage, really. Not a big fan. Kind of a... Feels like this was probably the first stage that somebody would do on their fan game and then just leave it as is. And it's just my opinion if you got offended. I'm sorry. Not sorry. We all got opinions. We all got assholes. I just happen to have both of those. <laughs> that was one of the most uninteresting stages I've ever seen on the show. If you're redoing the game, maybe just redo this whole stage. Some of the enemies uh, were fun, like the mitts. But that's about it. Well, let's kill the boss in 5 seconds with the buster. Oh, it actually takes less damage than the others. But, uh... So he actually takes less damage. Interesting. Wonder why. Still, pretty overpowered. The bosses are so easy. That I don't understand, uh... Why would... Just when you die, it's like... Just when you die, uh, the sound goes off. So at first it looks like uh, this guy doesn't have any pattern, but indeed he does. If you look closely, the bosses are very underwhelming in this game. Probably one of the weakest things this game has. Really uninteresting uh, work at most times. 
When I first heard about this game, I thought it was gonna be a lot better. Oh, he almost <laughs> glitched through the gate. Let's see if we can make that happen. Let's see if that's a thing. Not sure how I managed that earlier there. I'm not even sure if I wanna do that. I would probably need to uh, redo the whole stage if that happened. But when I first heard about this game, I thought it was like at least a decent... Okay, it's a decent game. But a decent game is not enough on this show. We should have superiority. We, we should have... Well... We should have something better than this. I really thought that uh, Revolution was gonna be better than it is. I'm actually quite shocked. But I can tell you this much, it was, a right, it was the right decision to actually uh, say that the game is not finished. It's certainly not. There's so much uh, stuff to fix here. It's uh, quite a lot of work and effort that has to be put into this title. Really underwhelming. I don't have a lot to say about the bosses. They just go back and forth and do their thing. It's just... They're just there, kinda. Well, tinnitus. Right. This game is. It's underwhelming. Sure, I can play it, but it's not gonna... I wouldn't play this game to pass my time. That's probably the best way I can tell you how I feel about the game so far. It's kinda like... Would I rather do gardening or play this game? I'd probably rather do gardening. Plant some new seeds. Get some new flowers up in the garden. Look at those. It's very, uh... It's a stale experience so far, but let's see if it gets better. I still have some hope for it. Thank goodness you're still safe. And my voice actually changed from last time, because I can't remember what I sounded like. I see you've stopped four of them. It's regrettable it came to this. Well, Mega Man? It can't be helped. Such is evil energy's nature. But there must be a way to save them! This trait of evil energy is very powerful. As it is, you have no choice but to fight. Please leave the matter of... <laughs> Between us, I have high hopes to save them. I understand. I'll do what I can too. I'm happy that at least he's will. Still, at this rate. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, was, it didn't actually continue there. Soul Man. Like, the level select makes you think the game might actually be uh, pretty good. I'm gonna get so many angry people coming at my way for this. You don't know what you're talking about. Get fucked. <laughs> I'll subscribe to you just to dislike your stuff. It's okay. If that makes you feel better, let me be the channel for you. Literally the channel. To vent your anger. Is that a dead spike? Mm, yes! That's a good thing to test. Kinda looks like it's in the background. Maybe make that saw a bit more prominent so I can tell that it's an actual hazard. Now I know though. Okay, conveyor belt. The music definitely needs to be changed. I'm glad someone is working on the soundtrack. Okay, usually I would say that that's a bit cheap, but the transition is so slow you can actually see that coming, which is nice. What in the holy mother of god is that? It's like a retarded uh, hammer show. Well. Interest. The fucking fist kills those. It is so overpowered. I was kinda hoping that it, it didn't kill them. Random metal man clones. I'll go for the E tank. We have rushed it, so there's no challenge, there's no excuse not to take it. You could just fly over this whole thing probably with shit. Good thing that when you jump it actually uses less energy just like in Mega Man 3. You can just fly through this entire stage but... Well, well, at least this section but let's actually do it legit. So we get an idea of how the game plays. 
I would definitely tone down the uh, charge. At least make it charge uh, slower or just uh, lessen the damage it does. Or lessen its usability or something. It is so overpowered. This game would probably be much better if it didn't have the charge. Which is hilarious to think about. But that's just me. Maybe I'm. Uh, maybe I played Mega Man too much. Maybe this is hard for some people, but so far this game is. Well, feels quite easy. Nothing wrong with an easy Mega Man game, of course, but uh, the designs are a bit bland as well, so there's not much. Not much things to look for forward to. We saw the demo of Mega Man Rock and Roll, we saw. We've seen in the past what people can do with Mega Man, and this is just underwhelming. It's quite sad, actually. I was hoping for a lot better experience here, but I don't know why I had the assumption that this game was actually godlike. Oh, you mother! <laughs> okay, I'll let it slide. I'll let I let it pass. That was. Actually, is somewhat hilarious. Why can't I go there? Why is it open if I can't go there? And on the previous screen, you kind of made the assumption that you could. Because you showed me that there's something there, and now suddenly... That was not a thing. So that's from Cutman stage. Interesting take on it. Which, I mean, is uh, pretty much the same take on it. And the charge sound should definitely go away. Okay, another one of these things. Thank god we haven't seen uh, stuff like this on every other fan game out there. Slash sarcasm. Man, I've done this so many times, it's not even funny anymore. Maybe this was the first game that ever did it, who knows, but... Regardless, we've seen this 20 times before. Now you add enemies to the mix, I know. I know what you're doing. And some, for some reason now it's fucking hard to hit this fellow. There we go. Can I take that energy though? Very, uh... It's like a story that you know how it's gonna end. Right from the get-go. It's like the game kind of plays itself. Uh-huh. What the fuck is that? It's like a light bulb that has a sad face. Okay, so I'm guessing the shield kills pretty much everything in this game. Um, I guess he's probably right. But I already did quite a lot of damage to it, but... The shield might be a bit overpowered as well, we'll see as we go forwards, but... Uh, it's a weird game to evaluate, because it's so simple. You... You've been so careful with your designs... Oh right, you can walk through those. You've been so careful with your designs that there's really not much to critique in terms of bad placements and stuff like that, because everything just kind of works, but at the same time it's so boring that I can critique it that way. I can say, well, this game is kind of... puts me to sleep. Well, that's just for me. It does that for me. It necessarily doesn't do that for everyone. I'm just saying for me this game is kind of bland and... It's so uninteresting, it's not funny. I can see the things you can do, and you could do a much better job at it. Let's hope that when uh, the developers uh, now do the final build, or whenever they get to it, that it's gonna be a lot better. We have to remember that it, this project is now done by at least two different uh, developers, so that's uh, have to keep that in mind. But. I can tell you this much, the first developer did not do a very good job here. It's a good... Uh, this would be a good... Uh, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, the game is not bad, it's just very uninteresting. I know I keep repeating myself, but that's... That's how it is right now. Let's see the Boston. Uh, well... You could say the same thing about Mega Pony, that was pretty much an uninteresting game, but because it had that one gimmick, you could uh, maybe think that it was uh, somewhat uh, 
a special kind of Mega Man game. But this has pretty much nothing going for it. It's just a bland, good old Mega Man game like anything else. Certainly, uh, I can't. Uh, if you asked me if Capcom did this, I would, I would not even hesitate. I'd say no. It's so easy to spot the uh, the things that are not done the same way. The things that lack that polish. This game lacks a huge amount of polish. And even when it is a demo, you can still beat the game, it's still playable. So you can't uh, whine about that either. So I'm not doing a, a disservice here. I'm just doing this for... I'm just doing this from interest. Personal interest. This guy is the, probably the most hectic robot master yet and... The first challenge we ever face in this entire game. So you probably just stay in... The, He'll probably just stay on the side when he does the middle thing. Yep, and then you just... Well, it looked hard, but now when I know how it works, it's a bit easier. Those slow saw blades, though, kind of a problem. But when you know that they're coming, you can manipulate them like that. The best boss so far, I think. Let me say it this way. Imagine you're a kid, and your mother told you that you're not gonna become anything. You suck at everything you do. You should not even try. Then you get in that mindset of, well, maybe I do suck. Maybe I should not try anything new. Maybe I'll just die alone and sad. Well, that's kind of like how the game is. It's kind of like it doesn't try to do anything new. It's just kind of there. It's just, well, it's Mega Man. Let's get this over with. I know I can't do anything special, so let's just do the same thing. That everyone else is doing. But let's make it kind of bland, because I know I can't do anything better than this. My mother told me that I'll never become anything. So let me just do a mediocre job at what I do, and well, that's the game. Well, if you agree on what I said, leave a like. If you disagree, leave a dislike. I'll fight you in the comments.